Coming up next on The Jeff Crilly Show, we're going to talk to the co-founder of one of the top medical staffing companies in the nation. His journey just ahead. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. Well, it seems like for the last few years, all we've heard about is staffing shortages in this nation's healthcare system from local doctor's offices to large hospital systems. And a man who is at the forefront of solving that problem is Jody Talbert. He is the co-founder of Frontier Search Partners. Thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Well, I, I didn't even know a, a company like yours existed. So there are staffing companies, but you actually have a narrow focus. We do, you know, and, and quite honestly, I never knew what the staffing industry was when I was going to school. I had designs to become a physical therapist. And in 1998, uh, I opened up the Dallas Morning News, responded to a job posting, and I got a job. God took a chance on me, and I started my career in, in, in staffing. And it's healthcare staffing, and our niche is really uh, focused on physician staffing. You also refer to them to as locum tenens. That's a Latin phrase for the place of, holding the place of. And so we place physicians all across the country. And, and help me understand how it works. Uh, hospital system contacts you and says, we need you know, uh, a pediatrician? Yeah, it's, it, it works in several different ways. You know, our goal is to get the phone to ring, uh, but a lot of it is calling on those hospitals, understanding what their needs are. It could be a pediatrician, it could be a nurse practitioner, it could be an orthopedic surgeon. Uh, we also staff allied health professionals, which are physical, occupational, and speech therapists uh, in job opportunities across the country, giving these candidates great exposure and higher compensation. And so sometimes they're just there for a few weeks or months, and, and are, are they sometimes there permanently? Yeah, sometimes uh, they could be there for three-month assignments. Sometimes it's long-term and ongoing. Uh, but, you know, in regards to the professionals that we place, uh, they are looking for specific jobs for various reasons, quality of life, quality of practice, geographic locations, and of course, compensation. Well, Jody, I can't even imagine what the last few years have been like. We all remember COVID and all we saw on the news was uh, lack of staff, burnout, uh, people quitting. So uh, I, I can't imagine, I mean, is it like a hockey stick if I look at your company's growth? <laughs> we, we've done pretty well. Uh, but yeah, over the last several years, everyone knows that what the pandemic is, has taken everybody through, especially the United States healthcare system. Uh, the increase in demand of healthcare workers, skilled healthcare workers, uh, it continues to rise. It is, uh, it's a, it's unfortunate, but everybody's getting older. Uh, everybody needs more care. And also, when you talk about the aging population, you're talking about and seeing healthcare workers that are enter entering into the retirement ages. So that's creating that demand for healthcare workers. So it is, we're in a good position being a national healthcare staffing company. It's unfortunate that the demand continues. And I believe I, I saw a trend, a, a statistic the other day that the American College of, uh, the American uh, Medical Association is reporting that there's going to be a shortage of phys physicians by 2032 in the amount of 120,000. So demands are there, it keeps increasing, and we're just trying to, to help people out. I wanna put your website up and we're gonna slowly scroll down it. Um, tell us about the growth of your company over the years. In the, in the very early days when, when you co-founded this company, uh, how many team members did you have? How many people did you place? Yeah, we started our company in 2013. Uh, it was myself and my uh, business partner, my uh, uh, co-founder, Chess Williams. We began, uh, staffing physical, occupational, and speech therapists back in 2013. 
we were uh, growing at a pace that we felt like was okay. But uh, when 2015 hit, that's when we really saw that hockey stick. We started going up. We specialize in physicians, nurse practitioners, and we've had double digit growth over the last several years. Uh, from 21 to 22, we grew 250%. Wow, that's amazing. And um, integrity is a big thing for you guys because you're only as good as your last placement. Uh, so making sure that you've vetted the candidate and, and it's a good fit is important. Yeah, it is. You know, we have a brand promise in our company and it is the right people at the right place at the right time. And really it's both on the client side and the candidate side. We first want to understand what the need of the client is, making sure we're not putting a square peg in a round hole. Right. And then we want to make sure we're understanding the need of the provider. And if we can put that and deliver on that brand, brand promise, I think we've achieved success. And I have to believe that in an industry like yours, once you find a partner like, like your company, uh, they just stay with you forever. Are you working with some of your original clients? We love sticky clients. We love repeat clients, loyal clients. We love the clients that really understand the value of the service offering that we're providing. In 2013, we had a provider, uh, a nurse practitioner that we placed into a job assignment. It was a different practice setting that he had come from. And through encouraging phone calls, you know, he, he felt like he was, this wasn't a good job for him, but proud to say that we still have him today and he's working in the hospital that we placed him in. No, that's, a, that's, a, that's amazing. Um, okay, outlook for the future. I mean, uh, it seems pretty um, recession proof. I mean, we may go into a recession next year, but I don't think your industry would feel it, would it? No, I don't think so. I think we're in a good spot. Uh, we're, we're in healthcare, we're serving hospitals, we're, herbi- we're serving the private, the public, the government sector. So just as we had discussed earlier, there's going to continue to be an increase in demand for, for healthcare workers, skilled healthcare workers. And we're, uh, we're there to help the clients in any way that they need, and also the providers finding those jobs that they, they desperately need. What does a ideal client look like for you? And is there a client that's too small? Like if I'm just a, a, you know, a general practitioner with a small office and, and a receptionist, am I your client? Well, you know, a good client is one that pays their invoices on time. Yes. <laughs> uh, but, you know, in, in all seriousness, we, we, we want to make sure the client and the client can be Dr. Curley's private practice in McKinney, Texas, to uh, large uh, pri- uh, public health care systems to the government. So if you, as Dr. Curley, needs mm-hmm. a uh, orthopedic surgeon for a week, you're not too small for us. If the large health care system needs 35 nurse practitioners, in the course of six months, you're our target. Wow. Okay. Have you ever gotten a uh, request from a client in in the the last decade that you said, "Oh my goodness, how are we going to fill that?" I mean, like you mentioned, thirty five over the course of six months. Have you ever gotten a uh, a request that you're like, "I have no idea how we're going to fill that." One of our very first assignments was up in New Jersey, and this practice was a multi specialty practice needing an orthopedic surgeon specialized in hand surgery. And so when you cast your net over orthopedic surgeons that have uh, board certification in hand surgery, there's not that many. And most of them are gainfully employed. So of course I said, yes, we'll take that on. Well, it it took us a little bit, but we, we kept casting the net. We kept having conversations. We placed the surgeon, but that gave us a little bit of anxiety going into that project. I can imagine. I also want to uh, put a spotlight on the challenge that you face, because I have to believe that some of these professionals that you're trying to reach are just inundated with requests. Uh, is it tough to find the right candidate and even build a you know a rapport with a candidate? You know, it, it is challenging uh, because we work in a very competitive market. That I, I think a hundred staffing companies open up every year and I think 99 close down. So these candidates, these job seekers are getting calls on a daily basis. So what sets us apart is really an extreme focus on our internal people. And what I say, when I, when I say that, I, I'd like to describe the staffing industry. It's, it's more of a churn and burn environment. It's an environment that if you haven't done anything, if you haven't produced, you're probably not gonna be here the next week. We want to focus on our people. We want to give them all the tools, the technology, the resources to be successful. And then we just want to get out of their way. 
And I think when we do that, it reflects on their conversations and their relationships with not only the client, but also the provider. Wow. We're almost out of time, Jody. Final thoughts. What would you like to leave people with? You know, we're looking forward to a, a new year. Uh, we're looking forward to uh, impacting the lives of providers that are, are looking for jobs and just continuing the, the success that we've had on a national basis. Uh, blessed to be here and looking forward to, to the years to come. Wow, I can see why you're so successful. We're gonna end with your website, which is fronterasearch.com. The great Jody Talbert, thanks for coming on the show. <laughs> thanks, Jeff. That's it for now. We'll see you next time.